Hey everyone, hope you're having a lovely day. And today we're on our way to a place called The Pearl, which is an awesome restaurant in Naples, Florida, guys. We're to do their all-you-can-eat crab. Yes, that's right. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but every time I go to an all-you-can-eat, like literally 100% of the times I have went to an all-you-can-eat seafood, I've always gotten kicked off, cut off, kicked out, like something happened, like every single time. So hopefully that doesn't happen here, guys. Um, so, crab, all you can eat crab. All right, so here we are, guys. Absolutely massive pile of crab. So uh, let's get started, let's get messy. Might be a while, but we're gonna have fun with it. We also got these delicious garlic green beans. They're really good. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're here at The Pearl in Naples, Florida. So this area is actually very famous for a lot of its golfing. Um, not to mention, of course, its beaches, its water, its warm weather. But I will also say, adding to that, I would definitely say it's lovely food and it's lovely seafood. We got an Old Bay on them. Very good. So here we are at the Pearl testing out their all-you-can-eat crab. Yes, that is right, all-you-can-eat crab. So they had rock crab a couple nights a week, and then they had this uh, like snow crab a couple nights a week, both in the all-you-can-eat. So depending on the week or like the day of the week, you can either have all-you-can-eat rock crab, all-you-can-eat snow crab. I'm not gonna lie, while I have definitely had these this like snow crab a number of times specifically, well, mostly as an all-you-can-eat, such as like the uh, Las Vegas buffets, the Bacchanal, um, I have had it in a food challenge. Um, this is only my third time ever actually really having crab legs. And, well, no, sorry, I had it one other time at a casino. So two casinos, two casinos. This is my fourth time ever having crab legs. So my technique, although it's not perfect, I definitely had the time to really dig into it, dive into it more as this was not a food challenge. So I did try my best to get through um, the edible portions, get most of the edible portions or all the edible portions. Um, and, you know, I did what I could. I'm, uh, I, you know, I'm not definitely not as versed in seafood as some people, but I did what I could and I do feel I did a pretty good job, at least according to the staff. I checked a couple times and I asked for their uh, tips, for their suggestions and techniques, and I did implement those. Um, as I said, they also had the all you can eat rock crab. I've actually never, I don't think I've had rock crab. I like, and if I have, I don't even know what rock crab is. Um, or I didn't know it, what it was at the time, or it wasn't, uh, we'll say, referred to it as rock crab. As I find sometimes certain crabs uh, can be uh, labeled under different names, under different um, titles, such as like Dungeness crab. I've definitely heard Dungeness crab referred to things in a few different ways. So like I said, if I've had rock crab, I just wasn't referred to as rock crab at the time. Um, so all the crab here was super delicious. They started me off with what was like maybe like six, seven, like six pounds or something like that. Um, it's kind of hard to tell from this angle, but that tray is absolutely massive. That is a massive tray. And each one of those racks was honestly like, it was a lot. Like they started me off really solid. Um, and that was something they definitely were totally cool with, the all you can eat aspect. They were just like, what do you want? How much do you want? We'll give it to you, which I thought was super cool. Um, they were definitely not holding back in regards to the quantity, in regards to the portions. And they weren't worried about like, oh, hey, you know, finish this one little piece first and then we'll make you wait another 30 minutes if you want more. No, they were prompt. The staff were excellent. They were super friendly. Um, the, the Everybody was super kind. And I will also say the menu, the rest of the menu. Um, so you may have to tune out uh, or tune in for another time. Um, the rest of the menu was awesome. Like they had so many different alligator options on the menu. Um, it's actually hard to find alligator in Naples. Um, they were saying, and they were one of the few places that had alligator. They also had like grouper on the menu, like, like you know, a very traditional Florida classic, um, including like the grouper bites when the alligator, then alligator burger. Um, like I said, guys, maybe I even tried one. You have to stay tuned. Uh, then they had um, the alligator bites, which were served in like a beautiful Cajun sauce. I'm gonna stop talking about the alligator. Like I said, maybe I had some. Maybe you'll see that in a future video. I'm back to the crab legs. Like I said, absolutely solid. I had some lovely butter that I was dipping them in. Um, there was lemon there as well. I'm not 
you know, it, it depends on the item. Overall, when I'm having crab, um, I'm not a big lemon person with my crab, whereas some other seafood like lobster or something, I'm more inclined to use it. Uh, same as fish. I don't usually use a lemon with fish as much, um, but in this case, like I said, the, uh, the lemons were there. I'm also going to compliment the green beans. I'm probably the only person who would go to an all-you-can-eat crab and compliment the green beans, but the green beans were awesome, which came with it. And they also had the option, like, they could keep bringing rounds of the green beans if I wanted them, um, which was super cool. The green beans were like in a garlic and they had butter like they were really really good i love vegetables um people don't often realize that i think um because i do love animals more yes guys i'm a big 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 animal lover i'm a big animal person animals are delicious and i i really don't discriminate when it comes to animals let's be honest i mean they're pretty all they're, i I can't even think of one really that I don't really like. I like them all. Um, and in this case, specifically, the crab I was definitely digging. Um, definitely the gloves were a great and nice addition. A very important, um, you know, when, I mean, just to try to preserve my clothing, preserve myself. But as you can see, I mean, I was getting shells all over. There was definitely a little bit of shrapnel uh, happening. And I mean, when you're eating crab like this and digging in so much, it's kind of bound to happen. Uh, it's a very uh, shelled product, let's put it that way. And there is a lot of work involved actually to eat crab legs. In fact, this is something that, you know, I did it to say I did it and tried it, but eating this much crab is very, it's a very, very laborious process. Um, as you can see how, you know, much time is taken to dig into this. And your reward is relatively small when it comes to the actual portion of meat that you do get out of the crab. Uh, so I mean, you know, maybe you can call me lazy if you want, but I do prefer food that is already shelled and or you can just kind of dive into like, let's say a burger or something along those lines, which you can kind of just shove in your mouth. You can kind of just, you know, again, call me lazy, but I don't have to shell it. And, uh, but I will say after doing all this uh, de-shelling on this crab, I would say that my technique and my learned technique for the crab was ever increasing and ever improving. It just kind of took a lot of practice and I mean after this first, I don't know, six, seven, eight, maybe, I think it was maybe six or seven pounds of crab. It could have been a lot more, I don't know. Um, after all that crab, I was definitely um, becoming versed in it and I knew I would need to because there was more going to be coming our way. All right, we did finish the first round. Then we got a second one. This one's a little smaller. Just takes a long time to eat, but it's very, very delicious. As I mentioned, I was getting a little better with my technique, and it was actually great. Like, I mean, them bringing out the crab, it was fantastic. It was definitely fresh. You can tell they just did it. They just made it. They were also very observant uh, to when I was starting to run out of crab, per se. Um, they were like, do you want some more? Um, and I actually liked the size of this uh, I'll call this a refill, but I actually liked this size better, this portion better, um, because like I said, it took so long for me to go through the first round, whereas this size of the uh, refill allowed me to get through it a little bit quicker. Um, and I'm a big fan of like hot food. Like if food is supposed to be hot, I want it hot, like, you know, or I, you know, not like boiling hot, but like if, if, you know, if it's a burger, I want to be in the restaurant, eating the burger when it comes out I want to start eating it as soon as it's an edible temperature like I'm not a fan of takeout food I'm not a fan of half cold food if I'm heating up something you know at my house let's just say I'd rather heat it up probably a little bit more than a little less I find it definitely adds to my overall dining experience so for this crab for the the crab here I rathered it being a little hotter rather than a little less because like I said it took so long to actually go through it, it took so long to actually eat through it Although, now brings me to the point. Crab legs, are they worth it? That's my question. Let me know down below what you think, because, meh, I mean, I like them, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy them. I like crab in general, like I said, I like food, but man, they take so much effort. So yeah, call me lazy if you want, but I'm still sticking by that. Um, after I was getting through this round of crab, I figured I would definitely go for some more. The place closed, I think it was like 9 o'clock, and I w got there at 7. Um, so by this time, I had to like start to be cognizant and mindful of the time, because I obviously, I mean, I was going to eat as much as I wanted, but... Oh, Lord. Oh, 
Boy, you're having a good time. <laughs> Having a, yeah, make, 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 making a mess of it, that's for sure. You're having a hell of a time here. Yeah. That's it, I'm going to bathe in it, yeah. <laughs> I did identify that they closed, you know, at a certain time, and I mean, if I ate for two hours straight, which was kind of the plan, or at least l what was likely going to happen, uh, you know, I didn't want to uh, inconvenience them any more than I would. I'll we'll just trade. Yep. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate it. Trade again. You can actually leave that there if you want. Is this one? Yeah, I'll make a big, like, you can just dump it. Like, dump into the bigger one, I'll make it. I got you. Thanks, brother. No problem, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, everything's good. I'm finding my way. I'm getting my technique as it goes on. You're killing it. It took me a while, but I'm getting it now. It's, got, it's like a little finagling. My problem is I was breaking them all the way through. It's almost like you don't want to. Yeah, you want to like just like break it. Crack it so that you can pull it. It's a little art. It's like a crack and kind of like a half twist. That is exactly it. <laughs> I'm learning. Slowly but surely. After however many. Hey. You got a ways to go before you beat. Some of the tables we have literally will get like 10 rounds. I bet. It's insane. Probably like little old ladies too. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, I, there was somebody that was like, can I get another plate? I was like, yeah. Oh. And it was like a mound. Yeah. And then he just sat there and ate it with yeah. a tiny fork. And it was like, really? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I mean, if they, if they got the patience for it, that's my thing. I don't have the patience for it. I'm like, let me just shove it in my face. Mm -hmm. I just want to eat. Yeah. Thank I you. I want to work for it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, I love it. So I didn't have a exact you know amount of crab I wanted to get through. I was essentially just going to eat as much crab as I could in the time I had left. Um, this third round of crab again, awesome, loved it. It was came out so fresh, so hot. The crab had like I don't know, call it like a bit of like a seafood old bay kind of spice going on with it, which I absolutely loved. I love old bay. I love those spices. Um, just like such nice additions. I really like it in like butter, like an Old Bay butter is so good with lobster. Oh, it just tastes good with crawfish. Are you gonna keep going on the crab? Yeah, we'll keep doing it for a bit. Okay. To be honest, I've even eaten Old Bay on like chicken and potatoes and like, I just like that spice, that flavor in general. And I mean, especially when you're having like that Old Bay flavor mixed with butter and seafood, like how on earth can you really go wrong with that at all? So when it came to the actual value of the all you can eat, it was definitely well worth it. Um, this, I believe, was 30 bucks, and I believe they were... Oh yeah, nice and fresh. Thirty or forty dollars, and that's for like the rock crab and or the uh, the snow crab here. So for what you get, very reasonable. I mean, you go to a restaurant, you spend thirty dollars on just a singular entree, let alone getting like an all-you-can-eat crab experience, which again is I was really pushing and putting to the test here. They really mean all-you-can-eat when they say all-you-can-eat, because this is the first time, at least at this point, not foreshadowing, not jinxing myself. But every other time I've been to a all-you-can-eat seafood uh, like restaurant at all, which specifically was fish and chips, I've always gotten cut off or I've gotten kicked out or they've stopped serving me or they wanted to charge me more. I've had absolutely horrible experiences when it comes to all-you-can-eat places that have seafood items. So I was really hoping that we were not going to have a repeat. And as it's gone so far and as you know, I expected, it was not going to at all. Next round. 
just going to get some gloves. And with another round, I can honestly just say I, I knew they weren't going to try to cut me off or shortchange me. They were they were loving it, guys. They were they loved that I was enjoying myself so much. They loved that I was there to um, you know really enjoy their food, and that's what I was. They really have some good quality items. Like I said, um, I was very impressed with everything to this point. I figured I would be further on. Um, but that everybody, I think that's pretty much, you know, the majority of the information I have for you today. Um, it was just very, like, overall good experience. I have no complaints. Like, huge kudos to the staff. Um, I really appreciate their hospitality. I appreciate the great food. I appreciate the awesome service. I appreciate them putting up with me as I ate so much dang crab. Made such a mess. Like, everything all around, guys. I just have no complaints. So, if you're ever in Naples, I definitely recommend checking out The Pearl. Um, you know, hey, that's about it. Whether you're going for the all-you-can-eat seafood or, like, the all-you-can-eat crab, whether it be rock crab, snow crab, or just in general. Great people, great place, very nice-looking spot. And, uh, yeah, hey, so with that, until next time, everybody, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Ultimately, let's see what happens. And, uh, crab. That's about it. Lots of crab legs. Lots and lots and lots of crab legs. Enjoy, everybody. All right, so this is the carnage we've done. <laughs> All of that, which is absolutely ridiculous, because this is the pans are coming in. This one's way bigger. Anyway, they uh, they're closing here in like ten minutes, so I think I should probably uh, probably let them close. Um, but yeah, for like thirty nine dollars, I can definitely say I got my money's worth. So, uh, but that being said, maybe there's a few other items I want to try. They have dessert. So anyway, everybody, hope you enjoyed this video. Lots and lots and lots of crab. So all you can eat crab Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I think it's all you can eat rock crab on no. All you can eat crab on snow crab like this on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And then on Thursdays is all you can eat rock crab. So no shorts of gun all you can eat stuff here. So that's a lot. My mouth is cut up from biting them shells, but let's see what else fun we can get into. Fort Myers Beach. This is uh, quite a view, guys. Definitely crazy. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's just like, it's just basically a water peninsula. It's just, it's just this is insane. This is truly beautiful. Super cool, everybody. Super cool. All right, everyone, made it down to Fort Myers Beach. This is a very big beach, and it's beautiful, guys. It is just like water and sand. I guess it's it's very chilly today, unfortunately. Um, like cold for Florida, that is. But guys, just beautiful beach. Fun fact, apparently you're not allowed lights on the beach at night for sea turtles. And then if you want to sh uh, avoid stingrays, shuffle your feet. So that's pretty interesting. But uh, we will find out. Let's go see some more of this. I got my, uh, my flip-flops on, guys. 
we are officially in action to see the beach. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is stunning. Stunning, stunning. Look at this, that is white sand. Damn. People did say, I think, like, this kind of side of Florida has the better beaches, and at least it definitely has the white sand. And yeah, this is gorgeous, so let's see a little bit more of this. I'm not gonna stay down here too long, I don't think. Um, but I need to pee and then uh, let's like, see some see some wildlife. See, there's huge pelicans out there and stuff. So, so there is an insane amount of very, very beautiful shells um, on these beaches. Like everywhere I walk, just little ones, just crunch and crunch, crunch. Which I did hear something along the lines of like, there's an island, I believe, off like a little island or another beach or something off the coast of. Uh, Fort Myers or the Fort Myers beach here like somewhere a little island thingy thing and I know they have some kind of famous Shell something Something to do with shells and Fort Myers and or this part of the coast, but just loads of beautiful shells like Hundreds hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and these are all little shells. There's like it's not gravel These are all little shells, which is insane. So sand little shells. So crazy. Actually, this is very interesting So here's like a conch shell that's how I describe it anyway, like a very beautiful, pretty looking shell. And I saw, it looked like there was something in it, so I figured it was like a dead snail, dead conch, but when I pinched it, he actually pulled back in. So it's actually still alive, but he's been beached. So I'm gonna put it in the water and let's see if we can get it, uh, I don't know, revived, not the right word, but moving. Give him some water. They go, see if he came back out. Sorry, buddy, I didn't mean to uh, hurt you when I grabbed you there a minute ago. I didn't really think you'd be alive. So let's see if, uh, I'll wait, wait and see if he comes out. I'll update you. So this is not the same one, but see that little thing there? Like if I press it, it'll like, it'll move. If I, I, pr I flicked him and he, and he moved. I can't do it with one hand, but let's see. Yeah, so apparently it's alive. Apparently they're all alive. Here, if this one's alive, maybe you'll be able to see it. See, it's like a little black thing. There you go, it moved. Like if I poke it, it goes in. And here's actually one in action. He like uses his claw to move himself around, and I don't know if he's digging a hole or coming out of the hole, but it's pretty interesting. There you go, I found a seat on a bench, which I'm probably not supposed to be sitting on, let's be honest. Uh, but yeah, this is gorgeous guys. It's right now while well, the wind is not blowing it's warm as soon as the wind picks up It's actually quite chilly like definitely more shirt weather people long sleeves um, A lot of people in pants or at least like leggings um, But yeah, this is this is stunning. There's a giant pelican out there. I don't know if you guys can see him There you guys it's flying now But uh, there's lots of pelicans actually look they're gonna have aerial combat. Oh look at that diving for fish maybe you saw that maybe you didn't but what a gorgeous day guys but uh i should have should have brought some sunglasses i guess but it's stunning absolutely stunning fort myers would recommend fort myers beach i guess but. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right, click my face, subscribe guys. It helps me out, it helps you out, then you don't miss an upload, and hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically picked two videos, yes, that's right, two videos specifically for you, right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's gonna end, so click one quick. Let's go, let's go, and have a great day.